Hello everyone, my name is Rucha Mahajan, Assistant Professor from the Department of Journalism and Mass Communication, Jagannath University, Jaipur. Today my topic is parts of camera. So what are the parts of cameras? How many parts are there in the camera? And what is the importance of these parts in a camera? For number one is body. The camera body is the most basic part of the camera. It is the box that holds the film and the camera controls. The lens is either built into the body or attaches to the body. The body also the body also houses a battery that powers the shutter, flash, light, meter and other controls. There are generally rings to connect a strap to the camera for easy carrying as well. Second is lens. The lens is the part of the camera or an attachment for the camera that focuses light into the body and onto the film. The aperture is also contained within the lens. Next is viewfinder. The viewfinder is the hole in the black of the camera that a photographer looks through to aim the camera. Some viewfinders use a mirror inside the camera to look through the lens TTL. Other viewfinders are simply holes through the body of the camera. Viewfinders that look through the lens that is TTL is through the lens allow the photographer better accuracy when composing their images. Next is shutter release. The shutter release is a button that raises a shutter inside the camera for a specific, specified amount of time to allow light to expose film, the film. In a SLR single lens reflex camera, this button also raises a mirror that allows the photographer to use the viewfinder to look through the lens itself. Many SLR single lens reflex cameras also allow a remote release of the shutter via a cable or IR remote. Next is, in automatic cameras, the shutter release also causes the film to advance to the next exposure. In manual cameras, there is a film advance lever, lever that must be turned in order to advance the film and the exposure counter. Next is shutter. An opaque piece of metal or plastic inside your camera that prevents light from reaching the film or the digital center. The shutter is opened or released by the shutter release button. The amount of time the shutter stays open is controlled by the shutter speed settings. Shutter speed control. The shutter speed control is the point on your camera where you set the amount of time the shutter will remain open. On automatic cameras, this is generally accessed through a menu and displayed on a screen on the back of the camera. In manual cameras, the shutter speed is generally controlled and displayed on a knob on the on the displayed on a knob on the top of the camera. The, sh the shutter speed is measured in fractions of a second, but is generally shown as the denominator only for example 1 by 60 of a second is shown as 60. Film speed control. The film speed control allows you to calibrate your camera's meter to your, to your film speed so that you will get an accurate exposure reading. The film speed may be set electronically through a menu or via a knob, button or manual cameras. On manual cameras, the control is often integrated with a film speed indicator on the top of the camera. On automatic cameras, the control and the film speed indicator are generally separate with the film speed being indicated on the electronic menu display on the back of the camera. F-stop control now, what is f-stop control? On automatic cameras, if the f-stop control is on the camera. For older manual cameras, the f-stop is controlled on the lens. The f-stop controls allow you to set the size of the aperture within the lens. 
Next is film compartment. In film cameras, there is a compartment in the black in the back of the camera to hold the film. This compartment has a space for the film canister, sprockets, sprockets, or to guide the film across the exposure area, a pressure plate to the to tighten the film, and a take up reel to wind the film. When the roll of film has been completely exposed, automatic cameras use a small motor to rewind the film. Manual cameras require the photographers to turn a small rewind knob to manually rewind the film into the canister. If the film is not rewound before the back compartment is open, the film will be exposed to enough light to ruin the images. Flash. Most cameras now include a built-in flash. Some are simple light bulbs built into the front of the camera. On SLR cameras, most built-in flashes pop up out of a protective storage area on the top of the camera. External flashes can often be attached via the hot shoe mount or in the case of manual cameras and small connector port on the front of the camera that accepts a cable attached to a distance distant flash. Hot shoe mount. The hot shoe mount is a point on the top of most SLR cameras where next where an external flash can be connected. It is called a hot shoe because it has electrical connect points and guide rails that fit over the bottom of the flash like a shoe. Lens ring mount. On cameras that allow interchangeable lenses, there is a metal ring on the front of the camera where the lens will attach. This ring contains electrical contact points to connect the lens controls to the camera body. There is a small button or level or lever to the side of the mount called the lens release button that releases the lens from the body. Next is camera controls. In all but certain specialized camera cameras, the process of obtaining a usable exposure must involve the use manually or automatically of a few controls to ensure the photograph is clear, sharp and well illuminated. The controls usually include but are not limited to the following. Thank you so much.